Hello everyone, welcome to Badminton Racket Review and this 2018 test session. Today we have the Yonex Dura 9. So let's go through the specs as we normally do. This is a 4U weight racket, 84, 80 to 85 grams. Stream tension 19 to 20, 26 pounds, 19 to 26 pounds string tension here. We string at 25 pounds using the same string on all rackets. What else does it tell you? It's a G5 grip we're using and it is evenly balanced. Evenly balanced, not that way, not that way. So we're talking about the, sh the balance within the shaft, the weight balance, it's even. Um, now the jurors are well known for their forehand and backhand um, for their forehand and backhand sides so it's a box frame technology they use the racket head itself is isometric in shape but on this particular racket the gold side here is for your forehand so this is what they're expecting you to do does it say backhand no it just says forehand forehand, forehand. yeah so forehand side boom 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 oops we're going, we're going here, but switch backhand side. That's how it works. Um, high modulus graphite, nanometric, super slim shaft. Well, that's all right, slimish, I suppose. But I tell you what I did find interesting about this racket when I was reading about it. It says that um, the, the Dura 9 takes all of the radical innovation and world-class performance of the Dura 10 and combines it in a lighter weight for more speed and maneuverability. So effectively, this is like playing with a Dura 10, but lighter and quicker. And it's actually, it's not, you know, that, that even balance and that for you, it is faster. It's one of the faster Yonix rackets we've tested from the Astrox, certainly compared to an Astrox or a 7DGs, definitely quicker. Um, okay, so price of this racket, um, let me just bring up the pricing information here. So, it, you know, I don't know what the general perception of the Dura 9 is, but actually it's up, up there in their premium price bracket, 140 to 140 pound, sorry, 140 to 145 in the UK. Um, there should be reasonable availability uh, of this from a number of different suppliers across the world. I don't think it would be that difficult to find. Uh, we'll be selling this one at our Badminton Racket site. There's a link below. It'll be cheaper than most other retailers, but we only got one of them, and it'll be on the site from the first week of August. So let's talk about the design. So we have a sort of pinky, pinky purple, maybe. You can see it, right? You can see the colour. Um, it's quite a simple design. So that the, so the, so the pinky purple that I talked about is the base, and then it divides itself with these sort of arrow graphics in a gold and silver. And the gold and silver, I thought, must be to highlight backhand and forehand. So I think that if the gold side is on the left, it's your forehand. If the gold side is on the right, it's your backhand. I don't know, I wonder, if you're a Dura user, do you switch? So do you go on and just look at forehand and make sure your forehand grip is on the right hand side and then actually switch across, switch your grip as you're supposed to, switch the grip to hit the backhand, that'd be interesting to know. And do you feel it works? We haven't tested it for forehand versus backhand performance, to be honest with you. Um, so overall, the design is not bad. It's not my cup of tea. I don't really like the design. It always doesn't inspire me, but it might inspire you. There's no right or wrong about that particularly. But take a, take a look at this close-up video to get a better idea of the design. Okay, let's do a weight test now. 0.69 mil gauge string, the grip supplied by Yonix. How much does this racket weigh? Well, 
Well, that's a bit of a shocker, isn't it? Just under 90 grams. That's heavy, that is. Uh, it, normally, John, it's a fairly close to mark, but advertised at 4U and nearly 90 grams, I'd say that's really heavy. Um, yeah, it feels heavier than their normal 4Us, but I mean, it's still got, it still feels reasonably, you know, yeah, there's a bit of weight to it, to be honest with you. Um, and incidentally, did we tell you the, sh we didn't tell you the shaft, shaft stiffness, did we? Let me just check. Sorry about this. If I can get the info quickly on the shaft stiffness. So yeah, it's exactly as I'd expect it to be. It's stiff. The shaft stiffness is stiff. So this section here is quite stiff and it feels it, to be honest. Right, EO, we are going to do a smash test. Let's see how this racket smashes the shuttlecock. Our player always tries to use the same amount of power when hitting the shuttle. And what we do is we record the shuttle velocity in kilometers per hour. Okay, next is the maneuver test. So this basically isolates the racket movement like this, and we measure the head speed of the racket. So the aerodynamics and design of the racket really play a, a major part on this test. Okay, the last test we're going to show you is the uh, control test and this test is just to see how good this racket is controlling the shuttlecock. Right, don't forget, we also test independently the shaft stiffness, the balance point, the swing weight. We test the weight, well you saw the weight already, so there's a number of different tests that we do to, before we bring you an overall page on the racket. Um, below you will see links to um, our website, the racket sales site, how to use badminton racket review, very important. and also general information links just below in the description box below you will see the um, information the specs of this racket which i gave you earlier and also our independent testing specs to summarize the dura 9 hard work heavy and expensive so i think that you can can, can conclude quite easily what we mean by that if, if you want a detailed summary of this racket and or any of the other rackets we've we've tested in 2018 or in the last 2017 test session you need to go to the racket review e-zone once you go there you click it the rack you log in racket review e-zone that will get you into the e-zone space at the top of the page you have the quick search boxes so if you're looking for a specific agenda you can just click that sort of top 10 control rackets, got top 10 weight versus power, whatever it is you're interested in, press filter and it will bring up the results. However, if you want to do a more in-depth, more detailed, more bespoke search, you press the filter box underneath, choose your parameters accordingly, press the manufacturer uh, if you want to go by manufacturer or if you know the range, so if you're looking for a Nanoray, an Arc Sabre, uh, a 3D break free, a windstorm. Let's let's take windstorm as an example. So if you pre press windstorm, windstorm comes up. Press filter in the yellow box, and the windstorm results show. And then you can just press windstorm 72, and the racket page appears. And in that racket page are all our there's images of the racket. There's all our test results. 
there is uh, the videos of our testing, there are the JPEGs of our testing, and most importantly, or as importantly, should I say, is the personal video review, which shows you, um, which gives you a much more detailed analysis of the racket. We talk about what it's like to smash, and not just the power, but how it, what it's like to consistently smash with, how strenuous is it on your arms. We talk about how easy it is to drop with from various angles. So we talk about control and accuracy. We talk about defensive capabilities. We talk about um, we talk about overhead shots, and we talk about how good the racket is to drive. And that really does cover 99% of racket performance and along with our uh, test results and all the other uh, JPEGs with the uh, test uh, test JPEGs, the test videos and this in-depth members only video that is about as much information as it is physically possible to give anybody on a racket. So it's definitely worth going into the racket review e-zone. Do not forget we have only done started doing the videos for the last 55 tests or so, so the last 2017 test session and the 2018 have the personal videos, not the entire 500 and something rackets that we've tested. It's been superb having you watch today. It's really good the amount of support we're getting. Keep showing your support to Badminton Racket Review. Subscribe to our channel, press the like button, leave your comments. We, we'll try our best always to respond to comments as you can see in all our pages. Um, you know, your support has meant so much for us and we're so surprised by how many corners of the world, uh, you know, our work is now reaching. It's, it's been uh, an absolute, absolute privilege and we take the feedback, uh, the constructive feedback, anyway, some people are a little bit rude, um, but the majority are really nice and they give, you, they give us really good feedback about our site, what to include, what not to include, and that is actually super helpful and we have amended our website and the Racket Review e-zone according to the feedback we've received to make it a better platform for badminton players all across the world at all levels to use. So thanks so much, keep supporting us, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.